we are going to make this work. So we've got to figure out what God has in store for our marriage. I, I look at it that we're in this together. When we got married, we liked each other a whole lot. We wanted to be married, but really we did not love one another. Like God says, we're supposed to love one another. He was the sweetest person ever. And then we got married and it just like stopped. You get to the end of the day and there are some times that there's just no energy left to be intimate with each other. We didn't have a budget, we just spent money. She would question, well, where is our money? You know, I need to buy groceries. I think it, it destroyed a little of the trust she had for me. I feel like I argue with my wife over and over and over again about the exact same things. He's always said my default emotion is anger. These aren't my kids, and I'm coming into this relationship trying to make a difference, and I just felt like that wasn't appreciated. My relationship with my in-laws is really no relationship. I didn't want to deal with it. I wanted to escape from the realities of having an autistic child. I've been walking on eggshells for years now. I didn't think that it was going to be so hard. Marriage is hard. We both set our expectations, and when somebody doesn't live up to it, you know, we get angry or we get bitter or we get disappointed. And if we don't communicate through that, it can really put a, put a strain on our marriage. I'm convinced the reason we were able to recover in our marriage and in the finances, because they were so intertwined, was that I discovered biblical finance. I don't know where you're at in your marriage, but I do know that being normal, we have baggage, we're selfish, we have differences. Conflict is normal, it's inevitable. I mean, when Jesus left his disciples, I mean, he said to them, in the world, you will have tribulation, but conflict is an opportunity to grow. What Hollywood gives to you and me is a false expectation. God wants you to know it's not about finding the right person, you found them. It's about becoming the right person. God's got a great plan, he has a great design, and we're gonna team up together and get to experience it.